<laughs> uh, it's me, Big Willie. I have something really sad to tell you. What? One second. Uh, I got fat. Little Willie, this is Big Willie talking to you as, as literal as it gets. One, I am the heaviest I have ever been in my entire life. Two, I haven't built a robot for like a year. And you don't just get fat overnight. I'll, I'll tell you what the culprit is. Pretty sure it's snacks. I have been eating too many snacks. Snack, 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 snack. You see that coming? I thought you were gonna say not a snack. <laughs> not a snack. I don't really weigh myself a lot, but when I was in Australia, Ian got sick and had to go to the hospital, and conveniently in the ER, there was a scale, but it was in kilograms, so I converted to pounds and thought that either the conversion was wrong or the scale was broken, which is kind of weird because it's a hospital scale. Turns out I'm just fat now. And the part that frustrates me the most is even though I've been snacking a lot, I've also been exercising and doing all the things you're supposed to do to stay healthy. <laughs> what? That's a lot. Three, four, five, six. What's the problem with being fat? I don't think there's any problem with being whatever you want to be. And if you want to be fat, be fat. If you don't want to be fat, don't be fat. I don't want to be fat. <sighs> Right now I'm chunky, but my concern is the acceleration of my weight. Where is it going? What am I doing right now to prevent it? I'm eating less or trying to eat healthier. When I go to a hamburger restaurant, I get a single patty. I used to always get a double. When I go to a fast food, when I go to a fast food place, I get iced tea. I used to get soda. You get your soda pop, you drink it when you're eating, and when you leave, what do you do? You refill it. Don't Refill it. You are not saving money. You are not getting a better deal. You are only making yourself less healthy. Think about it. I don't eat healthy. I'm just trying to eat a little healthier and a little bit less. But before I dive into building a machine to help me lose weight, how about I reach out and see if I can get some advice from my friends. I need some advice. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. I could give you that. You Have you ever had any issues with weight? <laughs> Yeah, I've been uh, like been underweight my whole life. Really? Oh, that's the opposite yeah. problem that I'm having. What advice did your doctor give you? Eat more? Uh, to the doctor. Oh, you didn't go to the doctor. This is self-diagnosed. I just sort of took a look at myself and said, "Yeah, I'm seeing some ribs." Thanks, Ian. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You know, I actually have a an easier way. You don't have to build a machine. You can go buy a machine. It's yeah. A treadmill. A treadmill. Use that. Yeah. 30 minutes a day, maybe. Does it work for you? I mean, I haven't used it in a while. <laughs> I kind of stopped working out. All right, that's it. We're building a machine that makes me lose weight whether I want to or not. Here's the plan. Last year, I played a little bit of a game called Caja de Toques. It's not totally legal in the US. I don't know why, but they have looser regulations in Mexico, so that's where I bought it. Okay, Google, what does Encenido in Spanish mean? Encendido means switched on in Spanish. Yeah! It's a simplified TENS unit. It creates an electrical signal that stimulates your muscle. These aren't instructions, this is a warning. I don't want What would Bill Nye do? I don't want What would Barack Obama do? I don't. What would Hillary Clinton do? What would Queen Elizabeth do? Do you feel it? No, but that's why I'm scared. Can you feel anything yet? No, I don't. Ah! Yeah, okay. Next. <laughs> Ah, I don't like that. <laughs> that was not even to number one. What if we build a machine that makes it harder to eat the more you eat? We're not gonna not eat. We're just gonna be forced to eat less. Even though you only made it to not even level one, how would you rate your experience with Caja de Token? I, I don't like it. If you were trying to eat a meal and, and it started doing that to you, would I you would not it? eat. I would not eat. I would drop it just like I dropped those. Perfect. To introduce the CAD model, Jimmy Neutron. Come on down, Jimmy. Come on, no, 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 no. No, don't make me. Fine, I'll do it myself, you cute little floof. Yes, butt scratches, you like butt scratches? You like butt scratches, you little rodent. Introducing Fatboy 8000. It's got plastic, it's got angles, it's got a button touch display entry port, seven segment and a little LED light strip. It's got a load cell scale mechanism on its behind and that's what we're gonna use to measure the calories that you're consuming. <laughs> It is 3D printer time! 
What, do you think I was actually gonna print it and then wait to film? No, I am not an idiot. I printed this thing yesterday. It took like 24 hours. No, 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 come on, no, stop. I'm gonna use my words and if you don't listen, I'm gonna use my fist. Caretaker made me shave my beard. Oh, uh, could I get six cheeseburgers and an ice cream cone? Oh, the machine is broken, huh? Okay. Overheated. Caretaker's brother is getting married, and uh, she made me shave the beard because it makes me look homeless. Why do you make me shave my beard? Because you looked homeless. Did you lose weight? Why? What happened to your beard? I shaved it off. Go get your shoes! Oh my god, what's wrong with my shoes? William, have you lost weight? No. It's done! And I showed you almost none of the build process. You plug the batteries in, then you hit B. Then, enter in the number of calories that it is. You press A. Once you press A, you have activated everything and the scale is running. The more calories you eat, the more you get electrocuted. What I would love to do is take Fatboy 8000, the smartest plate in the world, and bring it to a restaurant. I can't do that right now. So instead, I made my own restaurant. William's Shockingly Good Food. Oh, oh, a customer, a paying customer. Welcome, welcome to my fine establishment. Shockingly Good Food is the name of the establishment. Oh, that sounds Come electrifying. On. Just make yourself oh, comfortable thank you. here. I'm gonna take the microphone. Wait, why is there a microphone? <laughs> this is a YouTube video. Oh no. Is this bounty? This is uh, a really right. nice napkin, sir. Oh, oh, what is this? Right. Uh, what side do you want your fork on? Uh, yes. Why are there so many wires? Shut up. What would you like to eat, sir? Uh, you got any lard? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have... Oh, crap. Is that lasagna? My god. Oh, oh my god. yes. Oh, press B. B? <laughs> and then we put the lasagna on. Your lasagna, that is. Oh, um, yes. And then, oh, one second, I forgot something very important. Sacred text. What is 290 times 4? 1160. Did you really just do that in your head? <laughs> 1160 calories. Activate the smart place. Have you even taken a bite yet? This is kind of messed up because you know it's going to happen. If it's not all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. Mmm. Ow. Mmm. I'm sorry. Ow. Ow. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't like lasagna all of a sudden. I don't think I'm hungry anymore. This is awful. What kind of an inventor would I be if I didn't test up my own invention? So I asked Caretaker to put together a gourmet multi-course meal for me. It's less than 8,000 calories. Waiter, please bring in the appetizer. Your appetizer, which is the blooming onion with sauce, 1,900. 1,950. This doesn't even seem like that much food. <laughs> There's something wrong with my flu onion. Ah, my mouth. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Oriental chicken salad with crispy chicken, and it is 1,430 calories. How is this packing 1,400 calories? Got this tingle going through my arms. What's what's in this salad, ma'am? Uh, uh. You're getting kind of red and sweaty. You're making the other customers uncomfortable. Mm. Ah, my teeth! It hurts my teeth. Oh, yeah. ah. <laughs> the main course is from BJ's. It's hickory brisket and bacon burger, and then a side of fries. Two thousand and fifty. <gasps> I can't! I can't! I can't move my arms, yo! 
I can't feel my fingers so good no more. 1,145 calories. Just hold my mouth. Ah! Oh, I made him a sign. Do that on purpose. I think when I'm drinking it, I'm like unintentionally pulling a straw. Wait, it's like wrapped around the milkshake. Ah, Chelsea. What? Ah. Ah. Oh, my meal is over. And I am exhausted, but yet not full. Do you want to be smart? Do you want to learn how to build robots? But William, I don't have a 3D printer or a laser cutter. I don't have a laser cutter either. But today's video is sponsored by KiwiCo. They sell awesome science kits. School won't teach you how to make things. You need to learn that on your own. Building kits like this is exactly the kind of stimulation you need to become an engineer or scientist. I would have killed for KiwiCo projects as a kid. This box from KiwiCo contains all the parts and tools you need to make real functioning headphones. They sell individual projects for all ages on their site. And if you order a subscription, the kits become even more affordable. And if you use my link, kiwico.com slash William Osman, or use the coupon code William, you will get an additional 20% off anything on the site. Thank you to KiwiCo for sponsoring this video.